Hello, this is Tony, Tony's Music and the Administrator of Doodly and Toonly PNGs. I'm going to start a new uh, video in Toonly and I'm going to call it Ball. And what it is, I'm going to show you how to do a ball bouncing in a field or something. So, what we're going to do is start off with a background. And in the old background, I'll do that one, I'll be fine. And then we need to find the ball. So, we'll go to the objects and I've got ball there already and as you can see there's a lot of different type of balls here but I'm going to use uh, English football which is all, also known as soccer in America and I want to just take that down to about there that size and I want to make sure everything is on instant rather than bounce right so the reason I'm doing that is because uh, the bounce on it bounces into the actual uh, picture but it doesn't it isn't a bounce, uh, bounce as such I mean it could be useful for the actual what's it but uh, really what you need with this is uh, a gif football or gif ball of some kind which is spinning and then you can do the same as this with a gif right so I haven't got a gif of a ball spinning at the moment so I'm just going to use whatever we've got here uh, any of these PNGs here right uh, and make sure they're on instant then when it's on instant like that I want to get, get oops I've accidentally caught that I didn't mean to do that so let's get rid of that uh, what I wanted to do was get there and I want to do an instant of this football again about several times actually so I'll copy that paste it like that move over to the next end and then do it again and I want about nine of these instances so if we can do that it would be best to get about nine is about right paste once you've copied it once you only need to paste it about nine times then you don't need to recopy it as long as you've got it in the actual oh, scene I've just done it again and I my paste so what we got there one two three four five six three more should be okay might need more than that yet but we'll see anyway paste okay that's one right okay now we go back to the beginning to get the first one click on the first one there right now we need to click on this node here which is the first node and we want that being right on the edge of the scene and the second node it needs to be down here right so it's coming down like that and we need to click this next one here and put that one on the scene where that one is and then bring it down drag it onto that one then we need to take it to there so that one's that one there then we need to click on that one and then take it up there like that then we need to bring this one in to play and put that there and drag that one onto there like that and that make sure that's clicked yeah then we go click on that one and bring that one down Right now bring that one into play like that just move it across so that it's on when that one's on and then you can put that there click on that one make sure it's that one that's on there right and then you go click onto that one bring that one up like that you have to click the nows if you don't click the nows it doesn't register in the place that you want it to be right so I'll click on that now there and then bring it across to there and you click on that node here which is the one that should be down here like that so we, we'll have a look at that so that goes from there to there yeah right so we've got let's see how that's going so far right let's just play that right so well, let's try that again because that didn't look right to me 
that one that's going to be too much to do there that one's too too smaller I sit so on here I need these ones to be higher right that one one goes up there and this one goes to there and then go down there and then instead of going down there it goes to there and that one goes to there and goes up to there right and that goes down to goes up to there and that one goes down to there and then that one goes up to that on like that and then put that one there Might might have enough there actually with a few few less. So that's that one, and then go to there, and then to put that one in. So into play there. Right, so that one goes there. so we, we don't need the last two to be honest but yeah, it was best to get them just in case but uh, there we go we can just knock that back now to there let's just try that see how that goes right let's see how we're getting on with that there you go that looks pretty reasonable so um, that's how you do it anyway um it's not that hard really it's just getting the getting it the way you want it really so if, if you wanted to make the balls move slower you'd make these longer if you want the balls to move faster you'd make them shorter um, if you wanted a more um, curved bounce you'd have to do more instances and do one instance up one instance across one instance down and so on so you'd, you'd get the arc slowly or you might have to do one instance going up then another instance going across a little bit and up then another instance going across then another instance going down and across a bit and then another instance going a bit further so you you get it slowly going up that way then that way then that way then that way then that way um, so that would be five instances for each um, curve you'd have to do that and then again five inches so you'd have about 10 for a couple of bounces really whereas this one you've got quite a few bounces really in there like three bounces at least going on to the fourth bounce really so um i hope this has helped you anyway and make you understand how to do this um if you do like it please like and subscribe to tony's music thank you very much